And it got me thinking, there's probably a better way to set this up so we can like watch something with better audio, bigger screen. So let me show you guys the movie theater for the Kimbo. Hey everyone, back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Currently fueling up to head up into the mountains for another night spent in the Kimbo. I got a few quick announcements before we do this. First one, like this video. I know a lot of you guys watch these videos every single week, but not a lot of people like them. So if you could, that would be awesome. It actually really does help me out. It helps other creators out when you like videos on YouTube. So I'd appreciate it. The second thing, the Outdoor Adventure Culture Gear store is back online, so you can head over to SciProductions.com right now, click on the store button, and you can find things like hoodies and rain jackets and beanies like I'm wearing right now, palm beanies. There are a very few amount of black multicam hats that are available. Whatever products and sizes are available right now, that's it, there are not going to be any more, so check that stuff out before it's all gone forever. If the new store goes well, I will maybe be adding new products to that in the future, things like my new signature camo that you guys may have seen in a previous video. Please bear with me when it comes to the store because I'm running everything myself from here on out. So whatever orders come in, I'm accepting those, I'm inventorying everything, I am packing, I am shipping, and the store will be online and offline depending on my travel, but as of right now, it is up until further notice. And now the third thing, some of you guys may be pretty excited about this. A few years back, I had a series on the channel called Mail Time where I had a public post office box and you guys would send stuff in, letters and stickers and gear to check out, packages. I opened that stuff on camera and now that I'm running my own store all by myself again, I now have a public post office box. So. Over on my website, under the contact form, you can find an address to send packages and letters and whatever you want to me. I will open that stuff on camera and it's a pretty silly, goofy time, but I'm looking forward to doing that stuff again. So those are the three announcements. Hopefully you guys are stoked on some of that stuff. And now I'm done fueling, so it's time to head into the mountains. <laughs> We've made it to camp. So going back to the beginning of the video, speaking of the public P.O. box, I've got sort of a box here to kickstart us right here. This is coming from CAO Cigars, CAO Outpost. So these guys sent this out for me to check out and over on their website, caocigars.com slash outpost, they actually have a really cool blog where they kind of talk about the adventure side of making cigars. They have quite the variety of cigars and you can kind of like scroll around there and figure out all of the adventures that they go on to source this tobacco from all over the world, all different countries. You can also sign up to win a supply drop like I'm opening right now. And let's see what's inside of this thing. Arctic tumbler, nice, and it's orange. I love me some orange stuff as you guys know. 
Here's a little note. Congrats, you've done enough out in the field to earn yourself a supply drop. Now you're geared up for whatever your adventures throw at you. Show off what you got by tagging us at CAO Cigars. You can find them over on Instagram as well. Ooh, a bag. It's actually a pretty nice looking backpack. Ooh, stickers and a Leatherman multi-tool, it looks like. Sick, topo. Here's a Leatherman Bond, the CAO logo on it, and some topo. Cool if it had a cigar cutter on it. <laughs> Ooh, a lighter. This is right up Mike's alley. It's all green and orange. And saving the best for last, it looks like we have a travel humidor here, Cigar Caddy. Woo! So here they sent out a collection of cigars. We've got a Flathead 660, Brazilian times three, another Brasilia, and a name that I'm gonna butcher, the Pailon Añejo. Would you like one? Yeah. <laughs> Take your pick. The Brazilian times three. I'm gonna do the smaller one, the Brasilia. This right here is my choice for the evening. I don't have a cigar cutter, so we're gonna have to use this Leatherman. Don't judge me, people. I'm working with what I got here. That's not too bad. All right, finally got this thing lit up. And it's nice. So now if I head over to caocigars.com slash outpost, I can actually go into explore now and then scroll down and find the exact cigar that I'm smoking. Here we go, Brasilia, continent, South America. They say that CAO Brasilia was the spark that lit their sense of adventure on fire. At the height of the Nicaraguan tobacco craze, they ventured south where there's incredibly rich soil, variety of territories that lend themselves to growing supple and different tobaccos. Now, I don't know quite enough about cigars to tell you guys this, but it's been described as exotic, fruity, earthy, luxurious, and smooth. It is pretty smooth, and I typically do like a darker cigar. Spark up and get ready for an adventure unlike any you've smoked before, because with CAO Brasilia, we sought the unknown and walked away with a masterpiece. I guess I agree. So you guys can go over and check out the website if you're into cigars, learn some cool stories about where they source all the tobacco for these, and huge thank you to CAO for sending out the first mail time, even though this is like an unofficial mail time. All right. Kimbo time once again. Of course, Sam is here. You're probably wondering, where is Ashley and Camber? After our camp trip last night, or the night before, whenever it was, Camber was not feeling so hot, so I had to drop Ashley and Camber off at home. So Camber went to the vet. She got some meds. She's doing better now. So for now, it's just Sam and I tonight. I've got some updates on the Kimbo, some new functionality that I'm gonna show you guys. And it's still pretty early. We got up here at a good time. It's only 3.30 in the afternoon. So we're gonna have an afternoon snack. Currently boiling water. It's finally boiling. We're up here at 10,000 feet. Which means water should boil a little bit quicker. Am I gonna burn myself? Probably. Cup of nudes. Korean spicy beef flavored with rice and noodles. Oh, my stopwatch has been running for 44 hours. That's good. We'll start that one over. <laughs> to pair with a cup of noodles, Sam brought out some aviation gin. This is Ryan Reynolds. Cheers. That's some pretty good gin. Oh yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, if you happen to be watching. And we know that you are. Yeah. Uh, send, send me some bottles <laughs> for both Sam and I, and we'll drink it and promote it. So I'm not a huge gin guy. Generally I like bourbon, but Sam always drinks gin and tonics. So I got on the train the other night. We had a huge thing of Tangeray at my house, which was good. It's all right. Your go-to is? Probably Aviation or Hendrix. Okay, I was gonna say mine is Hendrix. Mm -hmm. That's what I would prefer. But this is, this is pretty good for a celebrity backed booze. Mm -hmm. I dig it. Now you're supposed to make these in the microwave, but I do not have a microwave in the Kimbo. That would be kind of wild putting a, uh, Microwave in there. Yeah, not bad. I don't think it really pairs with the gin, but it's spicy. Should I brought some sake? All right, guys, the pre-dinner snack was good and Sam and I are impatient. It's windy out here, so he's gonna start cooking proper dinner for the entree. While he is cooking, I'm gonna show you guys some of the new stuff on the Kimbo that I'm kind of excited for. 
If you've never seen the camper before, if you don't know my videos that well, you're gonna be like, why are you getting so excited over all these little things? I know it's not gonna make sense to everyone, but let me show you some of the things that I've done to the Kimbo. So in my last video, I showed you guys a ladder that I had, which did not really fit anywhere but inside of the camper. And I mentioned that I was getting a smaller one. So I have this little step ladder here that I got on Amazon. And look how thin this thing gets super super thin it's got a nice wide step on the top and it makes getting up to your tailgate a lot easier especially when you have a lifted truck so instead of storing that thing inside the camper there's enough room where i can literally slide it right down the side here it lives in there no one can steal it by pulling it out through here and that's a nice little addition man it is freaking windy out there so now as we come inside of the kimbo one thing that I added is actually for the fantastic fan up top here. This fan is great for getting rid of condensation, for taking some heat out in the summertime. However, in the mornings, when you have all of the blackout curtains on the windows in here closed, this thing acts as a skylight. There's actually a lot of light that gets let in through here, and if you like sleeping in the dark, it's not ideal because the sun comes beaming through here and it lights up the whole camper. So because I like sleeping in the dark, let me show you guys what I came up with for this. A simple vent cover, which is generally sold for Sprinter vans or any van that runs a fan like this, but it works great for campers as well. There are magnets along the side. There's three and two. And I simply slid the magnets underneath this plate here. So all I have to do is figure out which way this is oriented. And that holds itself in place. Not only does it block light, but also in the winter times when it is freezing cold, it's also going to help insulate the whole camper just a little bit better. So that's another new addition, something that may not seem super exciting, but I dig it. Now for an addition that I think a lot of you guys could get behind. We were sitting in here the other night, if you caught the last video, and over here on the kitchen, we set up an iPad, 12 inch iPad, so about as big as they get, and we watched a movie. Sam sat right here, Ashley and I were up in the bed, Camber was sleeping over here, and it got me thinking, there's probably a better way to set this up so we can like watch something with better audio, bigger screen, so. Let me show you guys the movie theater for the Kimbo. Now, right up here in my storage baskets, this Vertex Stackable fits in here perfectly. I did a video on these a little while ago. Vertex makes a lot of different packs, a lot of different sizes. And this one houses everything I need for the movie theater. So here I have a little Manfrotto tripod. And then here is a tiny little projector. This is from a company called Nebula. I believe they're actually owned by Anchor, who makes the Anchor powerhouse system, which I have down here. And this thing is a projector, Wi-Fi connected. It's about the size of a can of Coke or a can of beer. So very small and compact. And the picture quality is actually pretty good. It has built-in speakers. I can connect it to a bunch of different devices. It has a rechargeable battery and on the battery power alone in this thing, it will run for about four hours. So you could watch almost two movies if you are completely off the grid and have no power options. Now right here in the little nook, if I move the pillow, I've got an authentic sheepskin here from a local to Colorado sheepskin shop. Underneath the cushion, I have a projector screen it fits in here perfectly this is really just like a foam piece of board that i got at a craft store it's got a little bit of thickness to it so it has some rigidity and now i can project directly onto this guy now i haven't come up with like an end-all be-all situation for this but what i've been doing is just pushing my little countertop cover here got that at target push that to the side and then this poster board which i did not even cut it fits perfectly right there on the countertop. Now I'm gonna close these blinds so it gets dark in here. You guys will probably be able to tell how dark it gets with this cover now. Lights going off. Yeah, it is this dark in here. Super, super black. So now if I turn on the projector, can press the button on the side here and angle it accordingly. This little dial on the side allows you to focus it for whatever distance you are at. And now we have like a full-blown 
movie setup here in the Kimbo. And it all packs away super tiny that you wouldn't even notice it. Now this little projector runs some sort of Android, so it has apps built into it. Amazon, YouTube, Netflix. Now if I go into settings, I can go to the network, connect it to my phone, which it already is. And now I can simply hop down to Netflix and let's see, let's watch, let's watch some Breaking Bad. Lights off. <laughs> and now we have a full blown movie theater set up right here in the Kimbo. Ooh, that's loud. So one downside would be that this does have a fan built into it, so it can get a little bit loud at times but it's also very loud from a speaker standpoint. So as long as you have the volume cranked up, you can actually hear everything in the movie or TV show you're watching pretty well, and it's not too bad. Woo. So that is the setup we're gonna be messing around with tonight. I'm gonna eat some dinner. I think we have steak going right now. We got some hot chocolate to make later. And we're gonna hang out right here and watch some movies inside of the Kimbo, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Woo, still windy out here. Still windy. The sun is about to set, which hopefully means that this wind will calm down a little bit. We do have some pretty good views out here though. That is one of the compromises you have to make while you're camping, having nice open spot with some views Generally, it's gonna be pretty windy when you find places like this. How is it? <laughs> sure, cold. <laughs> really cold. Gonna clear out some room in here for food. Chilly out here. Hot chocolate time. Hot chocolate time. So it is starting to get a little bit colder out here. We're gonna make hot chocolate now. And then we're gonna put this movie theater to use in the Kimbo. I turned the heater on for a little bit in the Kimbo and I mentioned in the previous video that there was some stuff that I liked and didn't like about the propane fireplace in here. So before I leave tomorrow and through the rest of the night, I'm gonna start filming that video to show you guys what I'm talking about. And that will be the video that you see next on the channel. I am gonna sit in the warmth until that starts boiling. So we were sitting in here hanging out, watching some YouTube videos, and I believe it was about 63 degrees or something. I had the heater running for maybe an hour. Now it is 77.5 degrees, which is pretty hot. Oh, there we go. So I got the heater off now. It is still pretty warm, so I have the fan on, and it's blowing the rest of the heat out of here, so still feeling pretty good in here. Marshmallows. Oh, and cookies. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is gonna be great. I think we are, oh yeah, we're boiling. Pack it for you. Gracias. Cup for you. Gracias. <laughs> yeah. from the top. That'll do. All right, hot chocolate is ready. We got a movie queued up, not even a movie, but some stand-up comedy. Found a better solution for where I put 
the projector right down here on this little ledge that way it's out of the way it kind of like bounces the sound better you don't really hear the fan and it's a little bit closer to the screen over here before it was kind of hanging over the edge just a little bit but now it fits kind of perfectly and lights and action It is about 10 o'clock at night now. Sam went over to his tent and it is time for me to sleep. It's a little bit windy out there. It's gonna get a little bit cold, but I do have the fireplace going. It's been going for about 35 minutes and it's already up to 70 degrees in here. So I'm gonna crawl into bed, call it a night, and tomorrow morning it's gonna be pretty damn beautiful up here. Morning. Morning. What is this white stuff? Well, it is about 8.45 in the morning and I was not expecting to wake up to snow. It honestly doesn't feel super cold right now. It says it's 27. Did it feel like 27 last night? <laughs> felt like 27 last night. <laughs> so I am back in the Kimbo for yet another day. I really wish I could just stay here and get snowed in. I keep talking about this and this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. This would actually be the perfect place to get snowed in because it's very easy to access and pretty easy to get out even if there was a bunch of snow. The only problem is I need to head back to Denver, get home and pack because I'm going to Alabama tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna be down in Huntsville, Alabama for a wedding until next week, and then I'm gonna fly back to Colorado and we'll pick up with some Kimbo adventures. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said in the beginning, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like. The store is now open so you can get some beanies and hoodies. The P.O. box is open if you guys wanna send something in for a mail time video. And I think we're gonna head out of here before it snows too much. So that's all that I had for today. If you guys are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.